Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel Presentation Skills. I hope you are doing well. I am Mohammed. I am so glad to have you with me on this tutorial. Today, I will be teaching you how to create a graph slider in PowerPoint. Without further ado, let us start this tutorial. To create this graph slider, we need to go to Auto Shape Gallery and choose this rectangle with rounded corners and click on the slide and then resize it. Give it a height of 0.5 inches. Give it a width of 8 inches. Then hold this yellow handle and drag it until the, its edges are completely round. Then align it to center. And then go to shape outline. Remove outline. Go to shape fill. Give it a gray color. Copies of this shape by clicking on control D. Select all by clicking on control A. Go to align uh, option. Choose uh, this option align to slide. And again go to align option and click on align center and then again go to align options and click on distribute vertically. Now you need to create another three copies of the same shape. I will click on control D here and then similarly on this shape as well and similarly on this shape as well. I will choose the shape. I will give it a width of 6 inches. Then I will choose the shape. I will give it a width of 5 inches and I will choose the shape. I will give it a width of 4 inches. Now I'll change its color to dark pink and I'll change its color to purple and I'll give it this color pink accent 2. Now we need to align these shapes with the shape below. We'll click both these shapes and then we'll go to align option. We'll choose align selected objects this time and again we'll go to align option and click on align middle and then click again on this uh, align option and click on align left. That will align the shapes appropriately. Do the same with the rest of the shapes as well. Now that we have aligned all our shapes appropriately, we need to animate them. We'll select this uh, first pink color shape. We'll go to animation and go to add animation. Choose this um, wipe animation and go to effect options. Choose this from left option and then make it start with previous and give it uh, the duration of 1.5 seconds. Open the animation pane, go to effect option, check everything is fine. Now we need to uh, copy this animation to the other shapes as well. So we'll click on this uh, animation painter twice and uh, copy this animation and paste it to other two shapes as well. And then go back to the animation painter and click on it once. So that uh, that will disappear. Now we need um, a circle to complete this uh, graph slider we'll go to auto shape gallery and we'll choose oval and we'll go to shape outline remove outline and we'll give the color same colors as uh, the the color of bars so now we need to type 70 percent here like this select the text go to home tab and select the the font impact and give it a size of 36 points now go to shape formats and click on this option and uncheck this wrap text in shape that will align the digits appropriately in the circle now drag and drop it here like this now make a duplicate copy of this by clicking on control d drag and drag and drop it here like this again do the same control d now you need to change the digits to 50 percent here and then change the digits to 30 percent here now we need to animate these shapes i'll click on this uh, first circle go to animation click on uh, add animation and choose this fade animation here and then click on start with previous again click on this uh, shape go to add animation and uh, choose this motion animation lines line animation go to effect option choose this option left and then again go to effect of animations and choose this uh, animation option reverse path direction and then you just have to click on this once and hold the shift key drag and drop it here like this then you just have to double click on this uh, so that you can open the animation setting remove smooth start smooth and go to timing option make it start with previous and give it uh, the duration of 1.4 seconds and then click on ok hold the control key choose these two animations and uh, get them above by clicking on this arrow key and then we just have to copy this animation to the rest of the uh, circles we'll just uh, choose this uh, circle and uh, click on animation painter twice that will copy the animation and paste to these two 
shapes as well so all we need to do is um, and then click on escape key that will the animation that, that was copied uh, will get disappeared then you just uh, click on this uh, green dot here hold the shift key drag and drop it here like this and then you click on this green key again and hold the shift key drag and drop it here like this and then we just have to change its color color of this shape go to shape format change its color fill color to purple and click on this circle go to shape fill change its color to this color just like this and then you can hold the control key choose these two shapes and just click on this arrow key and uh, get them above so now everything is properly aligned the animation is complete uh, if you go to slideshow we'll see a very beautiful graph slider animation in, in powerpoint let's go to slideshow and see how it's looking it's looking extremely beautiful you click on the uh, left arrow key it will disappear and you click on the right arrow key it will appear again so this is how you create a graph slider animation in powerpoint Friends, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with as many friends of yours as possible so that they can also benefit from this video. We have created this channel to share our knowledge with you so that you can create the best in class presentations to impress your clients, to boost your business. By this, I'll be signing off. Thank you so much for watching this video.